If you're interested in trying a private one-to-one -one lesson, hit the link in the top comment. Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and welcome to another British English video. So, today's video will be split into two different parts. The first part will be the listening exercise and the second part will be the speaking and pronunciation exercise. For the first part, I will be reading you an original British story all about Nessie or, as you may know her, the Loch Ness Monster. Throughout the exercise, I will be testing you on your listening abilities as, during the story, I will be randomly appearing to ask you questions based on the text that we have just read. After that section, we will move on to the speaking exercise, where you will be shadowing what I say. This will really help with your pronunciation and will also help you to develop a natural sounding British accent. Right guys, enjoy the story and I will see you very shortly at the first question. British Education Presents Nessie's Nightmare In the heart of the Scottish Highlands, where the mist clung to the hillsides and the waters of Loch Ness glistened with mystery, lived the elusive Loch Ness Monster. Nessie, as the locals affectionately called her, was a shy and gentle creature that had captured the imagination of people worldwide. Every year, hordes of tourists flocked to the shores of Loch Ness, armed with cameras and binoculars, hoping to catch a glimpse of the legendary monster. Nessie, however, preferred the solitude of the deep waters and the hidden caves along the shore. The constant attention made her feel anxious and scared. Hello again and welcome to your first question. So, on the third page, which two adjectives were used to describe Nessie? Was it A. Shy and gentle? Was it B, affectionate and gentle? Was it C, fat and smelly? Or was it D, elusive and scary? Okay, and the answer is A. So, the text states that Nessie, as the locals affectionately called her, was a shy and gentle creature. So the answer is A. No need to worry, guys. Thankfully, no one dared to call her fat and smelly. One bright summer morning, as the sun painted the lock in hues of gold, a kind-hearted girl named Nicole arrived in the village of Drum Nadrocket. Nicole had heard tales of Nessie and was fascinated by the idea of a gentle giant living beneath the waves. Unlike the others, Nicole wasn't interested in capturing Nessie on film for fame. She simply wanted to understand and befriend the mysterious creature. Equipped with a small boat and a genuine curiosity, Nicole set out on the tranquil waters. Guided by local whispers, she navigated towards the secluded caves where Nessie was said to retreat. As Nicole approached, she spotted a shadowy figure disappearing into the darkness of a cave. Okay, second question. 
What was the name of the village that Nicole travelled to? Was it A. Dumnadrocket? Was it B. Drumnadrocket? Was it C. Dramnadrocket? Or was it D. Dulwich? All right, and the answer is a B. So, a kind-hearted girl named Nicole arrived in the village of <clears throat> Drumnadrocket. So, not Dumnadrocket, not Dramnadrocket, but Drumnadrocket. Obviously, come on. That was so easy. Undeterred, Nicole ventured into the cavern where she discovered Nessie hiding, her large eyes reflecting both fear and curiosity. Sensing Nicole's sincerity, Nessie allowed her to approach. The young girl spoke soothingly, assuring Nessie that not all humans sought to exploit her existence. With patience and kindness, Nicole spent days by the lock, sharing stories and laughter with Nessie. She explained that people weren't trying to harm her. They were enchanted by the magic she brought to their lives. Nessie listened, her heart gradually warming to the genuine friendship offered by this compassionate stranger. Question number three. Why did Nessie allow Nicole to approach her? Was it A, because Nessie was curious? Was it B, because Nessie was scared? Was it C, she knew that Nicole was sincere? Or was it D, she thought that Nicole was patient and kind? Okay, and the answer is C. Whilst Nessie's large eyes reflected both fear and curiosity, the reason she let Nicole approach is because she sensed her sincerity. It's a cute story, guys. I don't know what to tell you. As Nicole's presence became familiar, the news spread throughout the village. Locals were astonished that someone had managed to befriend the elusive monster. Intrigued, they gathered by the shores, hoping for a glimpse of the new found companionship. Hotel prices skyrocketed, Nessie merchandise sales went through the roof, and the small town was full of to the brim. With Nicole by her side, Nessie became less fearful of the curious onlookers. Gradually, she allowed them to witness her majestic presence from a distance. The villagers, inspired by Nicole's empathy, approached Nessie with respect and admiration. Question number four. What happened when news of Nicole's and Nessie's friendship spread? Was it A, the locals became very proud? Was it B, hotel prices dropped so that everyone could afford to stay? Was it C, accommodation became more expensive and the shore was packed? Or was it D? Trick question, nobody even noticed. Okay, and the answer is C. So, hotel prices skyrocketed, Nessie merchandise sales went through the roof, and the small town was full to the brim. So if something skyrockets or goes through the roof, 
it means it goes up, 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 up. So, unfortunately for everyone, apart from the hotel owners, the answer is C. Word of Nicole's remarkable bond with Nessie spread far and wide. News outlets, instead of sensationalising the creature, celebrated the heartwarming tale of an unlikely friendship. The Loch Ness River became a symbol of unity, reminding the world that understanding and compassion could bridge even the most mythical divides. And so, in the tranquil waters of Loch Ness, Nessie and Nicole taught the world a valuable lesson. That true magic lies not in capturing mysteries on film, but in the connections we form with the extraordinary beings that share our world. The End Okay, final question. How did the news outlets respond to the incredible story of Nessie and Nicole? Was it A, they focused on the majestic Nessie? Was it B, they focused on the friendship? Was it C, they focused on the river Loch Ness? Or was it D, they made Nessie their latest influencer and she started shilling energy drinks. And your final answer is B. So, news outlets, instead of sensationalising the creature, celebrated the unlikely friendship. So, sensationalising means that you make something sound as incredible or as sensational as possible. But yeah, they didn't do that, and thankfully, Nessie didn't sell out either. Great stuff. I love that story. It's very sweet, isn't it? I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Right, it's now time for the speaking and pronunciation exercise. For this, I will read the story again. But after each page, I will give you the chance to pause the video. I would then like you to shadow what I say. So listen to how I read and pronounce the text and then simply copy me. So this exercise is a very good way to improve your pronunciation and to help you develop a natural sounding British accent. However, if today you would prefer just to work on your listening abilities, then guys, all you need to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy round two of this lovely story. British Education Presents Nessie's Nightmare In the heart of the Scottish Highlands, where the mist clung to the hillsides and the waters of Loch Ness glistened with mystery, lived the elusive Loch Ness Monster. Nessie, as the locals affectionately called her, was a shy and gentle creature that had captured the imagination of people worldwide. Every year, Hordes of tourists flocked to the shores of Loch Ness, armed with cameras and binoculars, hoping to catch a glimpse of the legendary monster. Nessie, however, preferred the solitude of the deep waters and the hidden caves along the shore. The constant attention made her feel anxious and scared.
One bright summer morning, as the sun painted the lock in hues of gold, a kind-hearted girl named Nicole arrived in the village of Drum Nadrocket. Nicole had heard tales of Nessie and was fascinated by the idea of a gentle giant living beneath the waves. Unlike the others, Nicole wasn't interested in capturing Nessie on film for fame. She simply wanted to understand and befriend the mysterious creature. Equipped with a small boat and a genuine curiosity, Nicole set out on the tranquil waters. Guided by local whispers, she navigated towards the secluded caves where Nessie was said to retreat. As Nicole approached, she spotted a shadowy figure disappearing into the darkness of a cave. Undeterred, Nicole ventured into the cavern, where she discovered Nessie hiding, her large eyes reflecting both fear and curiosity. Sensing Nicole's sincerity, Nessie allowed her to approach. The young girl spoke soothingly, assuring Nessie that not all humans sought to exploit her existence. With patience and kindness, Nicole spent days by the lock, sharing stories and laughter with Nessie. She explained that people weren't trying to harm her. They were enchanted by the magic she brought to their lives. Nessie listened her heart gradually warming to the genuine friendship offered by this compassionate stranger. As Nicole's presence became familiar, the news spread throughout the village. Locals were astonished that someone had managed to befriend the elusive monster. Intrigued, they gathered by the shores, hoping for a glimpse of the new found companionship. Hotel prices skyrocketed, Nessie merchandise sales went through the roof, and the small town was full to the brim. With Nicole by her side, Nessie became less fearful of the curious onlookers. Gradually, she allowed them to witness her majestic presence from a distance. The villagers, inspired by Nicole's empathy, approached Nessie with respect and admiration. Word of Nicole's remarkable bond with Nessie spread far and wide. News outlets, instead of sensationalising the creature, celebrated the heartwarming tale of an unlikely friendship.
The Loch Ness River became a symbol of unity, reminding the world that understanding and compassion could bridge even the most mythical divides. And so, in the tranquil waters of Loch Ness, Nessie and Nicole taught the world a valuable lesson. That true magic lies not in capturing mysteries on film, but in the connections we form with the extraordinary beings that share our world. The end. Right, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you like my face, my voice, or my teaching methods, feel free to like, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. I have made quite a few of these listening and speaking exercises which will be appearing on the screen somewhere here or here, maybe even down there. I'll put the playlist on the screen. Right guys, thank you again for watching and until next time, cheers.